this is a collab that I never knew I needed so badly until I had it in my possession and I'm shook. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video and I'm sure you guys will be too. I'm sure you guys can see from the title but I was shook, you guys. This came out of like nowhere. This showed up at my doorstep and I screamed. Literally, I was so excited. I think this is the most excited I've ever been for a ColourPop collection. Sailor Moon and ColourPop, you guys. I was gonna wear my Sailor Moon shirt today, but I knew it wouldn't match my makeup, so I didn't. But just know I'm wearing my Sailor Moon shirt in spirit, okay? Today, we're gonna be talking all about the new ColourPop and Sailor Moon collection. We have a few products in this collection, and when I tell you guys that the packaging is literally the best packaging ColourPop has ever done, I'm not telling any lies here. Let's get into it. Um, as always, I will be giving you guys some info about the collection first, um, doing some swatches while I talk about the products, and then I will do a tutorial and give my review at the end. But right now, I don't know when this collection is launching, but I will leave that in the description box down below. We'll put all the pricing and stuff down there as well. Um, just in case if anything changes, I can edit it down there more so than editing a video when it's already posted so yeah as always you guys can use my code it's just katrina it'll save you 10 percent off and there are some exclusions just go ahead and put the code in at checkout see if it works on it so let's get into it the name of the moon we're launching the collab of every 90 kids dreams they're right i am a 90s kid start off with the first product which is the palette so it just this is the pretty guardian sailor moon press powder palette this is what the packaging looks like. I saw this, I was excited. I was like, wow, this is so cute. And then I actually opened the box, you guys. So this is what the actual palette looks like. And it has this holographic kind of, I don't know what this actual packaging thing is kind of called, but it's like, you know, it's that kind of thing where it's like that. And when it move, when you move it, it changes. And I... I was shook. I was truly shook and I was not expecting that at all. So yes, this is like truly the best packaging I've ever seen. <laughs> so this is a 12 pan palette and you open it up. This is what the inside looks like. I will put close-ups on the screen and everything. So it just says Sailor Moon, um, Pretty Guardian in this inside. The colors in here are so beautiful. They're so soft but vibrant and this palette is like the perfect palette for spring. Like I can't think of a better palette. It says, create your cutest looks with this fun and flirty 12 pan palette with a mix of matte, metallic, foiled, and super shock shadow finishes. This palette has it all to make the most extra dimensional looks. And there is like quite a few different um, formulas in here. Definitely some shimmers, some metallics, um, a, super sh a super shock shadow, some mattes, and the colors in here are just beautiful. The colors in here are like right up my alley. That's what the palette looks like and I'm just obsessed. Next we have some pressed powder blushes and this is what the boxes look like. It has Luna on the front. And when I saw this, I was like, wow, this packaging is so cute. And then I opened the box. This is what the packaging on the blushes look like. How? I die. I literally died. No other words for this entire collection other than cute and iconic. So these are the two blushes. They have the same packaging on the front but the names are in the back obviously. We have Cat's Eye and From the Moon. Cat's Eye ha is like a peachy corally color with some glitter throughout it. We have From the Moon which is a nice hot pink. <laughs> hot pink. There is a mirror in here as well the little, in the little compacts. Luna is stamped into the actual powder so it is so adorable and ugh, this packaging is just so cute. Let's get obsessed with these collectible blush compact inspired by Luna, Sailor Moon's trusty sidekick. So yes, they are inspired by Luna, has Luna stamped into it, and Luna is on the front and on the box as well. So, so those were the blushes. The next thing that we have are two lip bundles um, or lip duos. So we have the Moonlight lip bundle and the Daylight lip bundle. Sailor Moon's on the front of both of them. She is different on both packaging, just letting you guys know that. If you guys want to pick one or the other up, I'm just letting you know both of them have different packaging. So each bundle has a ultra blotted lip and an ultra glossy lip. So starting off with Daylight, this one has Usagi ultra blotted lip and Moon Tierra ultra glossy lip. And these are the two shades and the packaging on the glosses and the blotted lips are so pretty. Again, I will put close-ups in there so you guys can see, but there's little moons on the cap and the cap is actually like a matte um, cap so that's really nice and I love the colors in both of the bundles. It's like a more like 
rosy pink and this one's like a more nude peachy gloss with some gold shimmer in it. Moonlight which has Bunhead Ultra Blotted Lip and Sailor Moon Ultra Glossy Lip. Um, this is what I have on my lips right now. Bunhead is like a more mauve pinky color, like a nice soft mauve pink. And the gloss is like a peachy uh, pink with some gold shimmer in it throughout it as well. And same packaging on both. So, so the boxes have the different packaging but the the actual like components are the same. Lastly in the collection we have two Glitterly Obsessed and this is the packaging on both of them. Um, it just has her throwing up the peace sign on both of them. So those ones are the same um, and it has some moons on throughout the packaging as well. So we have Moonlight Legend and Moon Prism Power and it says just channel your power with these two new and exclusive glitter gels. Moonlight Legend is like the prettiest baby pink with lavender glitter throughout it. It's like baby pink, lavender, blue, gold glitter all throughout the gel. It is so pretty. Moon Prism Power, which is right up my alley. Lavender base, I think, with some stars and moon little glitters inside of it. So cute, and this one is just so pretty. So both of those are right up my alley. Love those. Another collection, we have a winner for the Glitterly Obsessed, you guys. I actually really like these. I didn't use them on my face today, but I will definitely find a way to use them soon. I just think they're so pretty. That is everything in this collection. I'm so excited to show you guys everything. Like, I have just, I haven't been this excited for a video in a long time. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. This is the look that I came up with using the entire collection. Um, and I will give you guys my review at the end of the video. Like I said, I will leave all the info and everything down below in the description box. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and to hear my review on this collection as well, then just keep watching. Okay, so my eyes are already primed. I am so excited, you guys. You guys don't even understand. Look at this freaking packaging. Like, are you joking? We're just gonna hop into this. I actually love this color scheme. It's so cute. It's very spring, which I love. So, start off with the shade Moon Castle, which is this like light peachy pink over here. I don't think I'm ever gonna get over this packaging. I honestly feel like this is the best thing that ColourPop has done. They like really keep just outdoing themselves. Alright, so I'm gonna go into that Moon Castle shade. I'm just gonna put this in the crease. I'm gonna start off a little bit. There we go. Just gonna build this up. It's like a peachy pink color really good transition shade exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet <laughs> but I know I really want to put this purple shade on my lid because it's just so cute Color actually builds up really nicely I like this color a lot um, it's almost like the color of my bodysuit if you can kind of see it but it has a little bit more peachy pink to it there's also a yellow in here I think I might want to use that in a lower lash line or something so I'm gonna go in with tuxedo rose like corally pink shade down here it has like some glitter in it um but you guys know how those that actually picks up a lot it's really pretty oh i just love the colors in here so i'm gonna put this Ooh, she's vibrant you guys that is beautiful i absolutely love this color oh my god it's so vibrant i literally picked that up with one tap and look at how vibrant it is okay so i feel like my camera is not doing this color justice at all it's so much prettier in person i'm going to miracle romance which is that like bottom purpley pink shade and i have always loved shades like this they're actually like one of my favorite shades um when the pantone color of the year that was like the wild orchid or whatever violet orchid what was it called something orchid it was like 2014 i think that was my year. I loved, I bought everything. That was that Pantone color of the year. It was my favorite. And that's like literally this color. It's bringing back so many memories. But that was my absolute favorite color ever for like makeup. And it's stunning. I still have one of my highlight palettes from that time. And I, I love it. I love that color so much. I bought all the lipsticks, everything. So that, this is bringing me so much joy right now. But I'm taking that color and I'm going to put this on... This outer corner over here. I'm actually gonna take another brush. I'm not gonna take that one. I'm gonna take a little bit of a bigger brush and pack this on into the outer corner and then also into the crease. This palette is so springy and I love it so much. Um, everything is just blending so nicely together. 
it's almost like becoming one but like in a good way and not in a bad way you know like when shadows blend together and it just kind of looks like a blob this is blending together but like in the nicest way <laughs> packing this like on the outer corner and then bringing it up into the crease and then i'm going to go back with the tuxedo rose color to kind of just blend out the edges so we bring some more of that color back Almost kind of like um, bringing this out and then up into like a V-shaped kind of thing. Not really a V, but like I'm winging it out just a little bit. I go back with Miracle Romance again. Color is just making me so happy. Going with Luna, which I'm so excited for this color. It's like a really pretty lavender color. And I'm just going to take this with my finger. Oh my god. It's so pretty. And we're just gonna put this all over the lid. This is beautiful. This would look so pretty wet. I don't really wanna wet it because I feel like when you wet it, it becomes really, really intense. Um, and I want like a soft wash of it. Also for like where it just blends into the outer corner. So I feel like the best option for that is just to use it dry. Like so. And you see how it just like softly just is there. Ugh, everything is so pretty in this palette. This may be my favorite ColourPop palette to date. This is beautiful. It is so pretty. I cannot get over this lavender shade. It's just beautiful. I feel like this is one of those makeup looks that just looks so much better in person. Like the camera will not pick up how pretty this purple eyeshadow is and the way it just like softly blends into everything everything just blends into each other so nicely really i'm obsessed like i really am i i'm shook i think that's pretty much what i'm gonna do for the top part of my eyes i'm gonna do my foundation and stuff and then i'll come back and we'll do the lower lash line i went ahead and did like my base routine and everything i'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash lines i'm gonna go back into the palette i'm gonna take the shade justice which is the yellow in the shade in the shade in the palette and i'm gonna put this on the inner part of my eye right here the inner lower lash line like that and this yellow is actually really pretty it's very vibrant bright yellow i'm surprised and i'm taking that about like halfway on the lower lash line a little tiny brush for this just so it's like nice and precise the super shock shadow in here kind of looks like a little metallic yellowy gold so i kind of want to use that on top of it oh yeah so the super shock is silver millennium which is that like shade right there I'm just putting that like right over the yellow. I'm gonna go in with uh, Miracle Romance and put that on the outer part of the lower lash line. We're just gonna connect that to the top up here. I'm also gonna go over that with Tuxedo Rose. I'm gonna move on to blush. And I'm going to take the one, oh my god, this packaging is beautiful. I love it. Um, so I'm taking Cat's Eye, which is like a peachy color, like a peachy pink with some shimmer throughout it, which I love. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. It has Luna on it. It's so cute. So I'm just going to kind of just take a little bit of this because it looks a little bright. So I don't want to take like too much. That's really pretty. I like that. I would say it's more glittery than shimmery. really like the color. I think it's so pretty. Yeah, if you like face it towards the light, you can really see all the glitter in it. There's a lot of glitter. But it doesn't really pick up too much on the face, which is nice. There is some Glitterly Obsessed in here. And I know I used them in my Valentine's Day video. Um, but for this one, I don't really want to ruin the look with some glitter or anything. Um... I also noticed last time when I put the Glitterly Obsessed on my eyes, my eyeshadow kind of creased a little bit. I'm assuming just because this is like a gel, you know, obviously it's going to make your eyeshadow crease. So I don't really want to do that, um, but the Glitterly Obsessed in here are really, really pretty. Finish up like highlight lashes and everything, and then we'll come back and do the lips. I went ahead and just put on some lashes and stuff. These are the Anastasia Fashion Lashes. I also kind of just connected my blush almost to like the outer corner of the eyeshadow just go everything was kind of like nice and seamless and i love how it looks it's like really soft and subtle not too noticeable highlight i'm actually wearing the kaleidos star surfer 
highlighter. It's like this really pretty pink highlight and I love it so I put that on. For lips, I'm gonna go into the Moonlight Lip Bundle and this one has Bunhead Ultra Blotted Lip and Sailor Moon Ultra Glossy Lip. Go with Bunhead. It's like a really pretty soft pink. I'm just gonna do like a really light layer of the gloss. I mean, of the blotted lip, I think. And the gloss on top, which is Sailor Moon, and it's like a really pretty pe peachy pink gloss with so uh, with gold glitter throughout it, and the packaging, you guys. Everything. The entire collection's packaging is just so perfect. I love it. nice and glossy and i think that's it let me dust off this powder okay, so this is the finished look i am obsessed i'm gonna keep this short and sweet by the entire collection the entire collection is perfect i give it 10 out of 10 if i i would give it 15 out of 10 honestly it's like the most excited i've been for a collection in so long from ColourPop, like I, I'm excited with everything, but this I was like so excited. I literally yelled when I opened the package. Well, I saw the box, the, the actual box that it came in had Sailor Moon on the front and I was just like so excited. Um, I also, I think I'm more excited about this than I was with the Frozen collection, even though that one I was like super, super excited for, but I don't know, like this one is just so pretty. Love the palette so much. Like, the colors in here are just perfect. I love it. I'm going to be using this all the time. It's perfect for spring. This is, like, the perfect palette to get for transitioning into spring because spring is coming up, and I'm just obsessed with it. I have so many looks in mind that I want to do with this palette. Um, I love the blush. The Glitterly Obsessed are really pretty in here. Um, I didn't use them on my eyes today or anything. I just wanted something, like, really soft and pretty, and that's exactly what I did. So I, I love this entire collection. They executed it so well. The packaging is probably the best packaging they have done for any collection, in my opinion. This is just, like, next level for them. They truly keep outdoing themselves, and... I just, I feel like anyone who loves Sailor Moon, even if you didn't even like the colors of this palette or anything, how could you not buy this for the palette's packaging alone? Like, are you joking? I have too much to say other than I love literally everything. My favorite thing in the collection is definitely the palette, um, but I, I literally love every single thing in this collection. The palette, the lip products, the blushes, the glitters, everything perfect. Maybe not everyone likes Sailor Moon, but I do, and I know a ton of people who love Sailor Moon, so I already know that this collection is gonna, like, fly. Like, it's gonna go so fast, so I definitely recommend picking it up, like, right when it launches. I already know it's probably gonna sell out. So excited for it, and I'm excited that they, like, were able to, like, do something with Sailor Moon. Like, that's so cool. Their pop is really that girl, you know? They really are. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are gonna pick this up. I definitely recommend you guys picking it up. Like, it is so good. I love it. I Like I said, I will leave all the info and everything down below in the description box. When the collection launches, I will link that for you guys as well. I always do that all the time during launch days. I always come back and update the links for you guys and stuff. That way you guys can just go straight to it when you see swatches and stuff. Make it as easy as possible for you. So make sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you guys did like this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.